What is up, YouTube? I'm back. Um, I want to make this quick video. Uh, there was I've gotten some comments on where uh, people are commenting saying that the air is uh, coming in from behind the gimbal. Um, but I'm going to prove to you that it's not so I can clarify this. Um, you know, the reason being why I did what I did here. Um, so, I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Taking off this cover. Now, you see the fan. The fan is flat and it is tiny. See, now, if you look over here, there is really no airflow coming through there. Now, the proof is in this cover. Now, I'm going to use this flashlight here and shine some light to it. Now, you can see some light coming into the bottom there, if you look closely. But there's no light coming in from here. And even if there was air going through there and circulating to the top of this fan, if you look at the cover, now you see these little walls right here? These walls... This one, and this one here, and this one. This back wall here, all right, where this, this little area is right here, that's where this goes here, this little. So that kind of separates the heat sink from, from the fan, because that goes in that area. And I use some epoxy to get this grill on here and you can see some of the little rubber piece right here and a little tiny bit there from that because it's like a little foam piece here all right i don't know if it's for vibration i'm not sure also um i added some like aluminum um i guess they use this for like uh exhaust pipes on cars because there was a little gap and between the fan and where the heat stink started so I, I kind of ducked it so that the airflow is mostly directed and not lost and dissipated I wanted to force the air through the vents as much as I could so I had lifted this put the tape and put it back on and this area here is where that little foam piece sits now this wall here in the front very small wall very small a few millimeters all right, that sits, you know, if we look at it, you can see where the two holes go there, right? So that little wall sits around right, right over here somewhere. Again, once this is pushed down, it kind of blocks any air from coming in there. Now, the reason I know this was all sealed is because before I had put the grill on, I had this on there, and when you look to the side, you can see that the walls here on the side and here were all the way flush against this area here. So this whole fan was covered from any air coming into it. Trust me when I tell you, all the fan did was push the hot air out. That was its sole purpose. There was no inlet for air to come in there and again you can see through here that there, there could have been some air coming in there but not enough and I can guarantee you this this thing is running a lot cooler now that I've done the super sport mode on it I'm doing 40 miles an hour and it is nowhere near as hot as it was when I first got it Okay, so I just wanted to clarify that because that little section, you see a little square section? That whole little square section seals the fan. It, it, it seals it from the sides and in the front. And this little rubber piece here is what kind of separates it from back here from where the heat sink was. So that's that wanted to clarify that for you guys i hope you liked the video um please comment subscribe uh, but that's why i did this little 
grill fan mod thing here so I can let way cooler air in there than what people thought because trust me there was no air getting in through here and you could see if I shine the light you could see the light shining through the little glass piece where the camera sensors are there was no air coming in through there trust me on that if any probably through there and on this side here but because of the way this was constructed you know I could have easily grinded this down maybe to allow some air in there but no way would it have been as near as what I'm getting now this is definitely keeping the whole quad a lot cooler by at least 10 degrees all right, and I and I might and I and I'll add that the battery feels a lot cooler too, because when you fly this thing in sport mode for 12, 15 minutes, it runs hot, and when you take off that battery, it's hot to the touch. Now with this mod, total difference. I mean, it, it's definitely noticeable. So again, wanted to share that with you guys. Please comment always love the feedback whether it's positive or negative whatever um so yeah that's why i did what i did and that's the spark for you thanks for watching i'll be back later